Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Technique Tuesday. As you can see, I'm here at the Fanatics headquarters um, here in Boston. This is my, my new friend, Ty. He's been my partner for um, uh, some new work, some new products that I've been working on these last couple of days. I'm really excited to share and get these out with you guys. Um, and But it is Technique Tuesday, so um, as usual, I'm gonna be here uh, providing you, or I am here providing you with some some tech, technical knowledge to help you out with your game um, and get you through another week until the next Technique Tuesday. Uh, so I've been looking and recently been getting quite a few questions about um, open guard grips, positioning, you know, guard retention, things like that. And it just so happens that one of the uh, series that I that I just filmed while I'm here is uh, an open guard foundations series. And I want to give you guys, my Facebook group, all right, my Thomas Jiu Jitsu students, um, a little inside peek into some of the things that I'm going over in this series and um, and try to help out um, some of those questions that have been asked, all right? So what I want to talk about is just positioning of our legs, okay? So, um, you know, in when the guards open, I have to be very diligent, making sure that I'm constantly neutralizing his ability to make any progress, okay? And how does progress start, all right? It starts with his positioning of his arms, getting control of my legs, starting to build connections with his elbow and his knee, all right? And neutralizing one of my legs to begin his passing, maybe either in or even out, you know, uh, more in a standing position. Go ahead and stand. You know, he's got to get his hands on my legs, all right? And back up and then be able to pin a leg down and circle and do all that kind of stuff, knee cut. Everything starts with his hands on my legs, all right? So every time I begin to uh, play some sort of open guard, all right, we'll just say real simple uh, that he was in my closed guard. I'm gonna make sure I have double sleeves and I'm gonna start my open guard by bringing my legs inside, okay? and getting my knees inside his arms. So that way his elbows are out and he cannot position his hands on my legs, all right? I like to call this my guard headquarters, okay? From here, I can transition into every guard imaginable, all right? Whatever guard game I wanna play, I can get there from here and I can do it safely, all right? Now, um, if we wanna focus on an open guard, then I love to bring a foot to the bicep and then kind of float between a few different guards, all right? That happen to be the subject of uh, the new Open Guard Foundation series, okay? So I can play spider and use my feet on the hips and keep these two sleeves, all right? I'm sorry, uh, foot on the bicep and keep these two sleeves, all right? And you notice how much I stretch his elbows out and that's gonna always open up my availability for omoplatas, okay? Triangles and all sorts of the attacks that I love. All right, but I'm always keeping his arms out, okay? I could decide to let go and go to the hand and the collar, controlling his posture more, all right? You see how I maintain the foot and the bicep, and I really stretch, put a lot of tension here, and I also keep this leg to the inside, okay? I don't wanna let his elbow come in and be able to neutralize that leg and once again, make an elbow and knee connection, all right? So I'm always gonna keep my leg to the inside. I, I don't wanna play hand in the collar like this because it's unrealistic that I'm gonna be able to keep that foot on his hip for very long, okay? But if I don't let his hand make a grip and I keep it around the outside of my leg, now uh, try to bring this arm in, it's very difficult. And look, the way he wants to go is over my knee. As he goes over my knee, he gives me the omoplata, right? And then the other game that I like to use, probably the most unique and rare of the open guard games here is the two on one, all right? This is another series uh, or another element to the, to the open guard series that I talk about and teach. I love this one, especially because of my ability to get close guard from this, all right? Because of the threat of the triangle, many times he's gonna throw his arm over my leg and he's gonna allow me to pull him into the close guard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna already have his arm across my body, all right? So the biggest thing I want you to take away here is always trying to keep your legs inside their arms when we play open guard, 
okay? And nothing really changes when he stands, except the fact that because he's higher, he can get a little bit better posture. And so as he lifts up, I also lift my hip up, all right? So I make myself heavier, okay? This is a big detail. Anytime we play um, uh, open guard and they stand, I must bring my hips up, all right? So I have heavier legs. I can maintain uh, my tension and my connection, all right? So now if he backs up, kind of move around, you see how it brings me with me uh, or bring, brings me with him, okay? I stay connected, all right? I'm always connected. And then I can still bring him in to my attacks, okay? So keeping our legs in, lifting our hips if they stand, and making sure you know, we're not letting them make these connections, all right? Here's a nice little grip break I'm gonna give you guys, okay? If he grabbed my pants and I broke that off, I know he's gonna grab my lapel, right? So from here, I'm gonna circle my knee in and pop that off. This is how I always find my omoplatas, okay? Because I do not let him establish his elbow inside my leg, all right? So if he's gripping my collar, trying to get his elbow in, I'm gonna scoot out, bring my knee in and pop that off. Now he's wide open, ready for me to attack some of my favorite stuff. So, um, of course, the conversation can go on and on and on and on. Obviously, you'll see, um, you know, you'll have the ability to learn a lot more of this inside the new series that's coming. I filmed a couple other uh, products I'm really excited about as well. Kimura, Half Guard Passing some of my strongest and best stuff that I know you're going to love. And uh, you'll be seeing going into the Thomas Jiu Jitsu platform as well. Um, so I'm super excited, but I wanted to give you a couple techniques that I think will help your open guard right away. And beyond the techniques is really just the, the, the mindset and the vision of how you play your open guard, okay? Don't let them progress and make all these grips on you. And then you're, you're getting further, further, further in, out of position, okay? Always keep yourself in good position, keep your legs in, break their grips, and from there the attacks will basically fall in your lap, all right? So uh, I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any more specific questions about that. Um, keep your eyes out on uh, the, the great stuff coming your way, and, uh, and keep following the Timeless Jiu Jitsu uh, group, uh, the blog, all the good stuff that I'm putting out there. I hope it's helping you. Thank you all for the great energy, all right? Happy Technique Tuesday.